That is almost what you would consider the perfect trim. All right, everybody, so I've got a really cool video for you. I've been planning this one for a little while and I've actually kind of let our puppies nails go just a smidgen so I can actually show you. And that goes for every single one of our dogs. We're gonna be doing a nail trim from Little Tricks all the way up to Rex. You're gonna to get to see a lot of differences as well as differences in where, how we handle an individual dog because not all of them need the same amount of trimming. And we're gonna be doing this today with a standard nail trimmer and a Dremel grinding tool. Now, these nail trimmers will very soon be available on our website. We've tried a lot of them and these are the ones that we love the most. Um, this is actually a 8050, I think is the model number, and it's a discontinued unit, so you can't get this exact one, but they have a very similar battery powered Dremel for grinding that'll keep you in that about 14, 15,000 RPMs, which is a really good normal speed for grinding as well as to help out. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, in a lot of our puppy videos, right? We show laying a puppy on their back and helping them to relax there. That's a pretty easy way from a general point of view to trim nails as well as develop some good behaviors with your puppy. Um, I personally, the more nails that I trim and the bigger the dog gets, prefer to do them standing. Now we put them up on a table. You can do it this way or up on a bench or you can do it on the ground. You would just have to kneel down to their level. Now with what I want to start with Trix baby pup here, I want you to look here and see, can you see on how much overhang we've got of her nails, the shape of them right now. They're a little bit pointy rather than um, dremeled out here. So to trim these out, we're gonna be taking, we're gonna do this with every dog and I'm gonna show you quickly on one or two nails and then I'm gonna buzz through them real quick so that we can make sure and get everybody, um, everybody through in this video. But you can kind of see, I would guess here, this start to curl position in here, um, running your nail trimmer. We've heard us say this before, you run the nail trimmer on the underside, um, Hold still, babe. On the underside of their nail, and what that does, no, you quit now. This is a thing, okay? This is something that you are going to be experiencing with your puppy. They're gonna whine, they're gonna whimper, they're gonna pull away from you. You need to A, have the confidence to know, I know I didn't hurt you, and B, even if it did hurt just a little bit, them getting out of it is going to make this process get exponentially worse. So. What we're doing here though, is trimming the underside of the nail material. This can grow together and I will be able to show you, I would say uh, probably grits are our worst nails or mama grit. Her nails just don't get worn the same way. So as much as I stay on top of them, they get a little shorter, but they, they grow differently. So I'm gonna show you the maintenance things that we do for that as well. But let's get started with hers. We've done um, the underside scraping there, and then we did just a little trim, and hers don't need a ton off of them. We can go through. That last one needed very little, and the first nail I even just barely quit, and I wiped the blood. Here, it'll come out here a second. See that one little drop of blood? There. That is almost what you would consider the perfect trim. And the reason for that is exposing the quick like that, it's gonna help it to recede and pull away, which allows the nails to get shorter. Shorter nails are less likely to break and have other issues that way. Let's go through and trim these. And Trix, you're being such a good little girl. Um, looking at the bottom side of her nails, she doesn't have much of that growth, so you don't need to do a ton of um, scraping. And the others, one other thing, this is more like an advanced movement, if you will. I'm taking, because I have nice sharp clippers, and essentially once we start clip, stop, clipping from the underside, I can kind of roll that up. This is the clipping motion. So as soon as she stops fighting this, good, I give her a paw back. 
but it's kind of a, a rolling motion. And what that does is keeps you away from getting that quick. It starts to kind of peel away from the quick, which will give you almost like a bubble shaped quick on the outside. If you cut straight through that, you'll end up with what I did on that first, which is that little drop of blood. Now, one of my favorites here and the utilization of a table makes this a little easier. It's kind of more like uh, horsemanship, if you will. We can take their foot here and turn it upside down. You can stand on one of them, babe. And then we can see everything that's going on and trim them. Now, I typically trim the back nails just a little bit different. We trim the front nails at this angle. I trim the back nails at this angle. They don't grow the same. And this is what I've found is the best for lopping them off. Right there, babe. Getting them all lopped off there. Same kind of rolling motion. I don't know if you saw that. That helps prevent you from uh, quicking. Okay. Everybody is trimmed up. That took, with all of my explanation, I don't know, five minutes tops here, right? So now we're going to take and grind. And what you want to be able to do, when this starts spinning, it is rotating this way. And we want to put that so that it's basically spinning away from the nail. If you are going toward the nail, what's going to end up happening is it catches and bounces a lot more. If you're going away from the nail, you can come through here and take off those sharp corners. That's all we're doing is taking off those sharp corners because she's a little baby puppy and doesn't have a whole lot extra nail going on there. This one that I quicked just a little bit, we're not going to hit that too much with the grinder because that would feel a little bit uncomfortable for. Just all the way around the outside there. Good. Now let's go to the back ones. All right, puppy, turn around. Stop. Same thing applies here. Taking off those sharp edges, hit the cut portion just a little bit. Seeing that just little bit, just droplets of blood. Totally fine, folks. A, it didn't hurt that much, if at all. And B, that's kind of a necessity to keep those quicks trimmed back. This is simulating digging and digging and diggers almost never, ever, ever have issues with their nails. Now, they have issues with other things like uh, giant holes left in your backyard and whatever else, but as far as the nail factor goes, they have no problems. All right, little girl's completely done. We're gonna go ahead and take just a second, switch for dogs. All right, everybody, we're back here with Splash now, and we're gonna show you her nail trim, which this is gonna be a little bit different. She has a similar wear uh, to Trixie, but not as much needing to be trimmed. We're gonna be taking, come a little closer. You're sliding away. We're gonna be taking a little bit less off. I'm gonna show you. And again, there's really nothing underneath here that needs to be scraped. So we just go through here and get each. Good. Switch to the next paw. Good. Now we'll go to the back ones. And her back ones look really short. Like there will be, yeah. See, I mean, we're able to cut maybe just this little bit off here. Any more than that, they're going to be pretty, pretty dang close to quick and pretty bad. So, I bit off a little more than I needed to. So, I stopped and then came back just a little bit. That's why it's important to have really sharp nail trimmers. They don't last forever, folks. We were just having this conversation a minute ago. Okay, again, 
all of them trimmed. We're gonna take our grinder here. Her nails are a little, um, a little bigger because she's a little older. So a little bit more grinding than on tricks. Me being right-handed, I like to hold the paw in my left hand. And then those are all done. Go to the next set. Get a little bit right in that middle. Simulate that digging, like I said, to help those quicks recede. A little bit closer to you. They're all done. Turn around here. Ba -da -ba. Same thing. We could barely trim any, so there's going to be very little to grind. Just shaping them a little bit. Take those sharp edges off. Easy now. And that's it. Get in here and look pretty close at stand still so you can see standing how little of her nails are coming in contact with the table pretty much nothing at all that's a good indication that we have um, if there's a good way to say it I mean you've probably heard your own dogs at home clicking click 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 on the table or the floor sounds we got to bend her paw all the way over to be able to click those. Um, that's more you want to be. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab the next dog. Come on. Good. So here is little Twisty. You're looking here close. You can see her nails are a little bit longer. Um, this comes down to knowing each individual dog. These actually look really long, and we're going to kind of evaluate what's going on with that. Um, but some dogs don't wear their nails as well. And there's only so much you can do from a grinding standpoint and a cut trimming standpoint. They just look a little different. So I would say usually less active, less busy dogs um, tend to have longer nails. They don't grow out as much because they aren't wearing them as much. Now, the busier dogs, if you will, usually are working those and they're digging and they're moving. And so Twister is a very sweet girl. Um, this makes sense for her nails to be a little longer. So come on, babe. We'll get up here. Wah! We'll start taking a look here. Again, there's not much growth happening underneath yet. And I know that we'll get to see a little bit of that probably on Grit's nails. But then we're going to come under here and start uh, the trimming process. Can you zoom in on that? That little dot right there. Am I focused on that? Good. So that little dot, that's the quick. That is like the perfect. And that's what that almost rolling technique kind of helps with um, is to expose without actually trimming. Now, when these nails are getting bigger, you're going to see this difference because with the puppies that haven't had to do much shaping, her nails are getting a little bigger. We're going to be able to start shaping a little bit so we can cut corners and then cut on top of that quick and then cut the next corner. So that's three additional cuts. And we'll go to the next nail, cut that top part, cut each side. The bigger the nails, like I say, there's, there's a lot more to the trimming portion. Stop, stop pulling on me. Okay, let's go to this next paw. That isn't too bad, twister. Corners, and again the top. Really sharp clippers make this easy. If you're um, struggling with it a little bit, 
you probably need a little sharper clippers. Uh, I would say on average, one of the biggest mistakes, okay, write this down. One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make is they go off of what the store recommends. It has a big pair of clippers that are like this big and they're ha like, I mean, they look like you should probably be utilizing them to trim the hedges outside. And they go, those are dog clippers. And they take those home and they try and work with them. These smaller little clippers allow you to be more precise and cut what you actually need to. And they can handle 99% of dog nails. So yes, you happy little sweet thing. Let's turn her around and then we'll start the grinding process. Okay, again, these aren't quite as bad as what the front looked. Um, we've changed our angle and we're gonna clip through these. Next paw. Good. Grinding time. I pull this paw to me. You can see that full exposed quick, bigger dogs, that quick gets bigger. And we're running that grinder right on top of it just a little bit, which is, whoop, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button, folks, it scared me. Um, we're gonna grind on that just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit, which is gonna help her nails to recede a little bit. The quicks to recede, which allows her nails to be shorter, okay? There's about the perfect amount of grinding. We've got that one little itty bitty drop of blood. We don't wanna go any farther though. Don't leave your grinder in one spot. That's gonna make it hot and uncomfortable. Get rid of all of these, all of the sharper corners from just trimming. Come closer, you keep pulling away. Sit down there, good. All right, next one here. Check this out all the way across here. We've got exposed quick, exposed quick, exposed quick, exposed quick. That one's almost completely protruding out, which is awesome. These are all, man, good job. Let's do the next set here on the back. Turn around now. We've got one, just barely quick there. You can see it, it makes a pretty sharp, sharp cutoff here. And what we're doing is we're taking those two corners off and then rounding around that point just a little. Get through all of them. Ta-da! She's got a little bit of length that needs to come off of that one and that's gonna take a little time probably, but the same thing on both her second toes there, those toenails are just a smidgen longer. You can see they're not clawed over anymore. Okay, so next we have Legend and I wanted to show you as we've worked up, I don't know if you noticed or maybe I did say, did I say it in the beginning? We're gonna work from the puppy all the way to the old man. Okay, well, we're getting older here. We've got Legend, and he is the next oldest, 
And um, I wanna show you right off the bat, like before we even get started, his nails look better than, almost better than where twisters end it. If you look at those. So this would be a dog, and some of your dogs are gonna be this way. Um, we're just gonna grind these a little bit and then be done. Because there is minimal to nothing that can be trimmed off of these little boys. Come over here, stand still. So we're gonna go ahead and hit these just with the grinder for a second. Just from a baby maintenance standpoint, sometimes you see a little bit of strange growth direction happening and we can take that off. But again, as the dogs get older and bigger, the nails get bigger. So the grinding time takes just a little bit more time. That's pretty good. Go to the next. And that's all he needs for this week. And it's been same amount of time for all of the dogs to get their nails trimmed. All the way around that top half. Now, I know some of you may be saying, hey, wait a second, we made a pretty big jump there. Just a second here. Finish this one up. Ta-da! Some of you may be saying, hey, you made a pretty big jump there. Where is uh, Thunder? Where is... Guts, which Guts is actually Legend's sister, so it'd be about the same timing, but they're off hunting right now with a good buddy of ours getting some extra experience. The young dogs in that category need all the experience they could get right now, and they had the opportunity to go and get a bunch of birds shot over. So let's go ahead and move into his back, and we'll take a look at this. Sometimes these dogs that wear their front really well, their back feet can, back nails can be a little bit longer, but his, even in this case, there isn't much that can be done. I mean, there, if I had tried to trim that, there's a pretty good chance that I would have quicked that. Now, one thing that I can show you, it's starting to develop here, clear back by his, the base of his pad, is this growth together underneath the nail. You see that all right there? Comes to almost a point, the outside of the nail, where the puppies didn't really have that. So a couple ways that we can do that is I took my fingernail and started, stop bub, started to, he says, hello, I wanna look, flake that off. You can see that little flake there. And then those you can just pull and get them out of the way. That is one way to do it. The next would be to go ahead and take that grinder and just grind the underside to break that up just a little bit. There isn't a lot there, but just a little bit to kind of help break that up. And then we'll go through the rest of the nail. This one see has grown a little bit longer, a little bit different shaped. Okay, next. Good. Next. All right, so we've got Questy Pup. <laughs> Questy Pup. We've got you next. Um, another one that doesn't need a whole lot trimmed. It's not quite the same as Legend, but we will be able to take a little off and then grind. And a lot more shaping can be done with these older dogs. So bigger nails, more surface areas to whack off. All right. That one's there. I mean, it looks like there maybe should have been more to be able to trim, but when you can see that, show again here, when you can see that distinct white dot right there in the middle, I mean, you're there, folks. So we'll move on to this one. Now, I know what all of you are doing. You're sitting there right now going, I have literally watched him trim. What are we on? 
What number is this? I've literally watched you trim four and a half dogs nails in the time that it takes me to get one nail trimmed on my current dog. This takes, Questy Pup is in heat. This takes practice, guys. A, you gotta be confident in what you're doing, which takes a lot of nails, thousands. The other side of it is you need a sharp pair of clippers. And the last part of it is you need dogs that behave. I mean, if I had to constantly fight each one of these dogs for all of this, this would take drastically longer. Ta-da! All right, let's go ahead. Grind these front ones just a little bit here. You see? No, see, even she doesn't have much underneath there yet because her nails are short. They're pretty good. We've got some less pretty ones coming, I will tell you that. Good. Turn around. Those are done. Now, some of you may be worried a little bit about the grinder aspect of things, and I do wanna just show. I mean, I can touch this on my skin. It was in one spot too long, it gets warm. It feels a little bit uncomfortable. But that little touch here and there, which is essentially what I'm doing to their nails, doesn't hurt at all. Takes your dog a little bit of time to get used to it, but it does not hurt at all. Let's go ahead and grab the next puppy. That'd be mud, wouldn't it? Yep, yep. yep. Next, we've got Muddy. Hers are clicking a little bit. They're kind of like a halfway in between. Not quite as bad as, uh, not quite as bad as her mother's. And this is another thing, guys. Everything is genetic. So she struggles a bit with her nails. Also, Grit, which will be a couple dogs later, struggles with her nails. So we're gonna have some trim in here. Get started with this. All right, Trix, hush up. Good, so those are trimmed. That one, she said, you get that one pretty close, Dad. That was my goal, but I don't want it to be uncomfortable for you. Good, back ones.
next here. On to the grinder. Done. She goes pretty easy. She's a pretty sweet girl. We'll go get the next puppy. All right, everybody, we're here to Allie. And Allie's nails actually look really good. Let's go back just a little bit, baby. Allie's nails look really pretty good. Um, like they've probably been, they were trimmed a little bit more recently than some of the other ones. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and start right in with trimming. Heads in the way, baby. Good. Next. Her nails are maybe a little bit longer than some of the other dogs, but that is kind of just how they've grown. She probably has some of the most undergrowth nail there. You see that all right? Okay. Got that a little bit, trying to trim extra off. But I'll get to show you with the grinder what we can do, what we can do there. Sorry, babe. Quick you just a little bit. In your head. All right, I'm going to these back ones. So bigger, um, stop. Bigger side cuts here, just based off the shape of her nail. Good. Good. Whoa, baby. Let me look. Yep, looks good. Good. All right, grinder time. Let's see here. Her nails are just a little bit thicker all the way around which is just a difference in in shape and taking that bottom out underneath there and then just the same, oh, sorry, hon. Same, stop. Same grinding as everywhere else. 
But again, that underside, we can take a little bit of that grinding that way. Last one here. Next foot. I think the worst I've actually quicked a dog in a long time. So you get to see it on camera there. We'll get a little bit of blood. Uh, we won't do much grinding just because that's going to feel a smidgeny uncomfortable already. Good. On to the back ones. Whoa. A little bit undergrowth there, and I'm able to take that down. And go on to the next one. Ta-da! All right, we have just three dogs left. We have Vex and Grit and the old man. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we just have three left. Grit's one of them. And I mentioned before earlier that Grit's nails are not great. Um, she doesn't move in a way that helps wear them. And they got a little bit bad when she was younger, and no matter how much I work on them, they never really get much better. So I also want you to understand there is that aspect of things. I know how to do this. I know how to trim them down right and to put the time, effort, and energy into doing it at appropriate time periods to help them recede, and they still don't do a great job of it. So if you're seriously struggling struggling at home, it could just be your individual dog. But for the most part, we should be able to get them to the sub clicking category when she's walking. Now, this pretty lady is about to have her puppies in a week. Yeah, about a week. So what we're doing here with her specifically is going to be nail prep to shorten and smooth them so there's no sharp edges to protect puppies because moms can scrabble around a little bit and scratch or any number of other things so we just trim them down keep them short keep them uh smooth we'll get started here i'm going to show you these bad boys are long and grit also i'm gonna get a little bit closer we're gonna shorten this chain because she's pulling away from me just a smidgeny and she has this kind of fancy rogue dew claw up Do here have your audio going? yeah i have audio going yeah, fancy rogue dew claw up here. See how you just hush. Um, that it has to get, if your dog has dew claws, you gotta help trim those bad boys up as well. We're gonna start there, cause I sometimes forget it, cause she's, it's just this one, it's like, uh, didn't, the dew claw removal didn't go right or whatever, and it ended up growing back here. So I forget about it. but it's always short enough that it never really um, gets in the way or had caused any other issues. Stop, baby. Okay, good. We are short now. Now we're gonna go right in here to our first cut. And then trim around. And this is a part of the issues. You can see how long her nails are. And I made that first baby little trim and what do we see there? 
the white dot. Full on, quick, right there. Uh, we hardly trimmed anything off, folks. So this is one that um, her nails just struggle. They just struggle to get any better. And I wish that they would stay better, but I'm gonna have to try a little bit different position because she's fighting me a bit. So I'm gonna have her sit so I can take away a little bit of her umph and ability to pull maybe. We may try this here, more of our grinding pattern. And in the process, like she would be one that in the process of trying to help her nails um, get shorter, I mean, we've had to grind them a little bit more than what we would normally. And you know, she's to the point where she doesn't love this process, but that's no excuse for saying you can get away with doing whatever you want here. So I'm gonna hold, she's relaxed, we'll go to the next one. That's all there is to it. Careful, babe. Then we'll get these trimmed up quick. No. Come back here. Come back here. Good. Get these trimmed up quick. Again, not much at all can come off of these bad boys. Good. Let's go on to the back ones. The back ones right now look a little bit worse. You can't jump off of that table, sweetheart. All right, back ones look a little bit worse right now, even yet. But that first little tiny cut, we're already to the quick already, so I can't do much else with them. Try and grind them a little bit, stay on top of that, but it's a long road, folks, and it's tough. It's tough to keep them short, get them short once they've gotten really long. So my recommendation for you is put in all of the time when they're puppies. And if you just have a dog that's like grit here and her nails grow weird, just do the best you can. Give you a little bit more support toward me here. Uh, we didn't get that one all the way. Stand still. Good. All right, let's do a little bit of grinding. I know is like your favorite thing in the whole world. Spending a little bit more time on hers where I can. Trying not to make it too uncomfortable. That underside of hers are pretty grown up there. That's a part of what's going to help them to recede. You can see on this next one, you see how much of that is there? Okay, and then we're going to take and grind underneath there to expose that. And then just shape it the rest of the way. Same thing here. She says, a little bit too much, Daddy. Okay, next paw. Good. Good girl. Last one up front. No. No, we're there. Stop. Again, not letting her fight and pull away. I'll switch around and do the back ones. Oh, baby.
Okay, next. Baby, stop fighting. And you see, she's been the, the worst out of the bunch as far as pulling, fighting, not wanting this done, but she also has the worst, uh, the worst nails and needs the most love and Okay, and last one. Stand up, mama. Take a look there. Oh yeah, that looks good. Perfect, sweetheart. We're done, we got two left. Whoa. All right, guys, so this is going to be the exact opposite extreme of what we just had. And I don't even know if I'm going to take the grinder to these today. Maybe just a little bit. I mean, they're almost better than Legends. If you look at how he's standing on the table here, there is no nail anywhere near. Uh, he's always been really good about trimming his nails, as well as he's active enough. They just stay short. They're just different. Um, Nick's is the same way. Yeah, his daddy, same way. So... We're gonna go ahead and take, his nails are thicker because he's an older dog, so we're gonna be taking teeny, teeny, tiny bit off the outside. This'll just take a second. Whoop. Next. Good job, bud. Swing around to the back. Ooh, baby. Old Vexer, he's a pretty sweet boy. He says there was a girl in heat here, I believe, recently. Good. All right, into the grinder and just for fun. Just take that little bit of a sharp edge off. To the back ones. Oh, careful. That's it. Look at these though, real close like. Get down here and see. Like there is no click. If this boy ever clicks when he's running around, I know we've seriously neglected something and that would be the only way to put it because it takes a long time. Yeah. All right, no more licking my face, please. All right, we're gonna get Grandpa Rex, the old man, and we will be done with this nail trimming adventure. All right, so last but uh, definitely not least here, we've got the old man. And he doesn't, I mean, he really just doesn't get around enough 
to truly do much wearing at all. So he's got uh, short nails by nature, but he's got his little hooks on there that are, are ready to take off. Those are a pretty easy indication to know where to trim. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with his, just to take care of him. The old guy is now 15 and is a sweet, sweet, sweet old man. Oh, buddy. Sorry. You're not even bleeding. What are you talking about? He can also be a little dramatic in his old age. A little bit. All right, let's see here. Good. And if you're wondering where Nyx is, he's helping teach those puppies. Yeah. Some yeah. hunting skills. Nyx is out with the other puppies. You gotta have somebody seasoned there. Nyx. Oh my goodness, turns nine? Ah! Oh, turns nine in a few, days. a few days. March 14th, right? 15th. All right, let's get these back ones for you, old guy. Back ones aren't as bad, which is kind of surprising. It's kind of the opposite of what they normally are. Next here. Grandpa says, I don't even stand on one leg to pee anymore. Yeah. How do you expect me to stand on one leg for my nail trim? Back around, back around, back around, back around. All right, a little bit of grinding and we'll be done, guy. He says, I don't know, guys. Okay. There's old paws. These used to be black. Good, just a little grinding. Good, turn around now. Let's get these back ones. Whoa, whoa, lost your balance. <laughs> Turn around in a circle. All right, last one, buddy. That was a heck of a workout. Whoo! All right, come around, say hi to everybody. All right, everybody, so that is uh, 10 dogs complete. We um, showed every dog's nails are just a little bit different. I also showed that I did quick a couple of them, okay? So it's not the end of the world, A, for the dog, or B, don't give up on the process if you end up quicking your dog just a little bit. Try to keep it to a minimum, but at the same time, you gotta practice this, you gotta work with your dog, you gotta have real expectations for you and them, and you gotta stay on top of it from the time they are wee little puppies like tricks all the way through the time they get to the point where they can't even stand on three legs anymore. Thanks guys for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. We will put together more uh, nail maintenance and other kind of maintenance videos for you. If you like this one, just drop a comment. If you made it this far, give us a thumbs up. And if you 100% made it this far, say finished in the bottom. It'll make me feel good. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.